Alright, so we're back to this again. <clears throat> Couldn't possibly make enough videos to cover everything that I've done with this little bastard. But, uh, at least I, I thought about it. At least I could show, make a good point with this right here. This setup at the moment was running this, uh, Bedini from, uh, basically a 9 volt, but took that off and, uh, see what I could do with just with this, uh, cap right here. It's 35 volt. 4700 microfarad cat. Took my uh, other one off, which is right here. 16 volt, 2200 microfarad. I just left it on there with, for whatever reason. And uh, but uh, with this cat, it runs a little longer, and I'm just pulsing it with this 9 volt. So hopefully, I can you can hear the rotor maybe. But what I'm going to show is the differences uh, between having no charge battery attached uh, then attaching a charge battery and then looping it to itself with just shorting the uh, charge output and uh, this does affect the efficiency I've always said that the, the, the battery that you use does matter I mean I would imagine it all depends on your circuit but it depends uh, if I can cut this off so right now voltage in my cat is 3.62 because the battery is not hooked up. I'm just going to hook it up run from this 9 volt, this dead 9 volt it's currently at a what's that? 7.9 volts slowly rising must have been drained but uh right now nothing on the charge left open turn all the way down let it run. Doesn't even want to. Slows down. Acts like it wants to try. It's just just like a no go. From that draw, if I turn it up it'll go. but turn it all the way up that's how much it goes down there you go hey but I don't want that I want to turn it all the way down so I can get it to run from this cat it eventually wants to stop I think it's basically because uh, the lens, whatever you want to call it, the back EMF, it's left to go back to this front battery. It's got nowhere to go but the front battery, so to speak. Um, so, let's see what happens when I add this capacitance and resistance into the picture. Need to hook it up the right way. So, now I've got this battery, this 1.2, uh, it's got 4,500 milliamp hours. So now let's try. Now it wants to run. Not incredibly fast, but it's running. I think it's going pretty damn fast for the draw. Let's take, let's take the battery off and let it run from the cat. As it gets lower, I'm going to just pulse the cap again. Fill it up.
so basically, you know, it's running from that cap, not very long, but it's running, running it down till it drains it. You'll see when it stops running. Still draining, still draining. There it goes. 2.25 is stopped. All right. So now let's take this battery off the charge and and connect the output to itself. So now my output terminals are shorted. Okay. Take the uh, input. If I can find it, hook that back up to the 9 volt. Or whatever the hell it is. Let's try it again. Once again, it's running. Not unlike when there was no no uh, load, so to speak. Now, now technically, you could say it's getting its own back spikes the proper way, rather than in a lens fashion. Okay, so let's see what happens when I let it run from the cap now. interesting to me the way the voltage drops in the cap now that my uh, output terminals are short it seems like it wants to uh, help it a lot uh, so to speak it's almost like it's kind of charging the cap in a way Take it off, see what happens. Came to a stop at four point two. Hook it back together. drains down even further. So I hope that uh makes sense. Sheds a little light but showing the difference between the three. Makes a difference. Maybe you can see, maybe you can't, I can see it though. Alrighty. Don't forget your T bags.